What'd I do with my ball of fire? There she is. Let me cock this back and chuck it. Watch out. All right, let's get into the introduction of the pipe fitting 101, guys. This is my little voiceover. I've never done this, so just bear with me. I got all my measurements for my fittings on the table here. This is the ISO that I was given from the little fitter there. I kind of transferred it onto the table to just kind of show you guys. So I'm telling you that that's a four inch 150 and in my blue book it measures to be three inches. Next up is a four inch long radius 90, which is six inches in my blue book. Now remember I said long radius. This is a four by two reducer and in my book, my blue book, it says that it equals four inches. Next up is a, a two inch 90. The two inch long radius 90 is three inches. It's whatever the pipe size diameter is plus half the diameter of the pipe. That's how you know your 90 takeoffs. There again, there's another two inch 90 that is three inches. And that is a two inch 150 that equals two inches and a half, two and a half inches in my blue book. Now I go over the fitting and center to centers here. So what I'm describing here is that you can see the fittings to fittings and then you can see my pups. This is what my center to center is from center to center is two feet zero and a sixteenth. From this center to center it is eight feet three inches and five sixteenths of an inch. I forgot that inch number on there so let me go ahead and verify that that is three and five sixteenths of an inch. Over here we have from center to center we have three feet ten inches and a half. Now remember this is two inch pipe down here now. This is a two inch 150 plus a two inch 90 long radius equals five and a half inches. So two and a half plus three inches equals five and a half. That's fitting to fitting. All right, now I come over here and I kind of just show you kind of what I got. And then uh, I show you my blue book actually. And I show you where I'm kind of finding it in my blue book. This is where the reducers were. This is how I found out my reducer. And again, you guys need to get this book. Now you can see I got a blue line right here next to the weld neck, the welding neck, because I'm only doing butt welds, so it's the welding neck. And I do that to help myself under, to find it quicker. In my book, it says it's two and a half inches for the two inch 150 flange. All right, guys? So pay attention to that. That's important. Kind of, Kind of see what I got going on here. If you don't know who I am, I'm the weld professor. And then I go over to here and I go tell you, what I'll do is I'll weld fitting to fitting to fitting, right, fitting, fitting and then I, I tell you that I'll fab it all out to that point and then I'll take this fitting and weld it to this fitting and weld this fitting to this pipe and I'll probably weld that fitting to that pipe as well and then I'll take a one in position weld right here so pretty much all those will be rollouts now we know that 6 plus 3 equals 9 plus 4 equals 13 this is my center to center in inches I took 2 feet and made it 24 and a 16th Subtract 13. It's 11 and a 16th pup. Now that'll be the pup length in between my pieces right here. My fittings, should we say. Okay? 11 and 1 16th. Pup. Pup just means piece of pipe. Next up we have 8 feet 3 inches and 5 sixteenths that I transferred to inches, which is 99 and 5 sixteenths of an inch. And I have to take away 6 inches because that's what 2 long radius two inch fittings are that becomes 93 inches and 5 sixteenths now that is a pup that's just pup just pipe pup means just pipe guys and i show you right here and that's where it's going to go next up i go over to well yeah inches i always forget that next up i take three feet ten inches and a half and i convert it to 46 and a half inches subtract both my 90s again and get my pup length 40 and a half inches pup remember pup is just pipe without no fittings so that's kind of a little rundown on how I did the math there to get my pups you got to realize that you got to know what each fitting is so that way you don't mess it up okay guys I hope you're paying attention closely I'm gonna get a little more in depth here just give me one second Are you getting the gist of that? If you are not, leave it in the comments. Okay, these are pups to cut. This is just some examples here to convert from inches to feet. 11 inches and 1 16 below a foot, it stays that. 
13 inches is an example here. It's one foot, one inch. 93 inches and 5 sixteenths converted to feet is 7 feet, 9 inches and 5 sixteenths. 40 and a half inches converted to feet is 3 inches, 4 and a half inches. Now you see my stars here, those are my priority cuts. That way my helper knows to cut those first. Because what I'll be doing is I will be putting the pups onto the fittings here and rolling them out first. That way I can get as many rollouts as possible. Same here. Those are my two first priority cuts. Then I will roll them onto this piece and make one imposition weld to complete my build and only have one imposition weld. This is just how I was taught to fab. This is the Pipe Fitters Blue Book. Uh, I really suggest getting it. This one's kind of old. I had an older one, but somebody stole it. But this is a really good book. I love it. I definitely uh, recommend getting it. If you like this tutorial, put a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, put a thumbs down. No matter what, it's all love. I hope you guys have some comments for me in the feed there. And if not, it's all good. I'll wrap to you guys later.